welcome to esther equation corner so today we have a triangle a right angle triangle and we are giving the perimeter and we want to determine the area the longest side of the triangle we know is the hypotenuse and this side is the opposite and we have the adjacent here if we have the opposite to be one it means the hypotenuse will be times two of the opposite which is two here and then our adjacent will be root three now we are giving the perimeter and we know that the perimeter of a circle is equal to a plus b plus c if we name the opposite x then the hypotenuse will be 2 times the opposite, which is 2x. It simply means that our adjacent will be x root 3. We'll be using this as the length of the triangle. It simply means that our perimeter will be equal to our a will now be x plus our b will be 2x. And our C will be X root 3. But remember, the perimeter is 48 cm. So we have perimeter to be 48. Or equal to X plus 2X, we have 3X plus X root 3. So we have 48. Or equal to when we factor X out from here, we have X times 3 plus root 3. So to make x the subject, we have x equal to, we have 48 over 3 plus root 3. So from here we can rationalize we have x to be equal to 48 over 3 plus root 3 times 3 minus root 3 or over 3 minus root 3. So we have x to be equal to 48 times 3 minus root 3 or over, we have 3 times 3 to be 9 minus 3 root 3 plus 3 root 3 minus 3 so we have x to be equal to 48 times 3 minus root 3 9 minus 3 we have 6 and this will cancel out so our x is equal to 48 divided by 6 we have 8 times 3 minus root 3. So this is our value for x. But we are yet to get the area, remember. So we've gotten our x to be 8 times 3 minus root 3. So if here is, remember we named here to be x, here to be 2x, and here to be x root 3. So if the opposite is x, it means that here is 8, 3 minus root 3. And we have the hypotenuse to be 2x. We simply have 2 times 8 times 3 minus root 3. And we have the adjacent to be x root 3. So we have 8 times 3 minus root 3 times root 3. So we'll be using these values here to determine the area of the triangle. So the area of a triangle is half times base times height. So we have 1 over 2. Our base now is this, which is 8 root 3 times 3 minus root 3. And our height is 8 times root 3, 
8 times 7 minus root 7. So with this, we are going to determine the area. So this will be equal to 1 over 2. We have 8 here and we have 8 here. We can multiply to have 64 root 7. And we have this here, 3 minus root 3 all squared. This times this. So this will be equal to 64 divided by 2. We have 32 root 3 times 3 minus root 3 all squared. So resolving this, we have 32 root 3. And we know that this is the same as 3 minus root 3 times 3 minus root 3. So this is equal to, we have 32. Remember, this is area that we are looking for. 32 root 3. So when we expand this, we have 9 minus 3 root 3 minus 3 root 3 plus 3. So our area is equal to 32 root 3. We have 9 plus 3, that's 12. We have minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 root 3. So we have our area to be 32 root 3. From here, we can factor out 6. To have 6, we have 2 minus 1 root 3. So the 1 is invincible. So our area, we then have 32 root 3. So this 32 can actually multiply 6. So we have 32 times 6. We have 192. And root theory multiplying what we have inside, we have 2 root theory minus root theory times root theory, we have theory. So this is square unit. So we have that area is equal to when we expand this using a calculator. We'll be getting 89.11 square units. So, this is the area of the triangle. Thank you for watching the Star Equation Corner. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our solutions.